Welcome back to my channel. I'm Will Photo. I'm the piece of pepperoni that Papa John dropped on the last pizza he was making's favorite photographer. So if you didn't know that already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Thank you for clicking on this video. I appreciate it so much. Today we're doing another photo reviews. Um, this is going to be part two of part one. I actually intended on filming part one in one part and I picked 18 to 20 people to do photo reviews in that one video and I got to 10 people and the video was already at 20 minutes and I was like I cannot go any farther than this. So I cut that one into two and this is part two of that. The next time I do photo reviews I'm only going to review like 10 at a time and I think I might cut it down to one photo each person just so we can roll through it faster. I want to hit everybody. I truly do and I'm trying. Um, there's just a lot of DMs of photos to get through. So if you're watching this and I haven't responded to you, please, please, please be patient. I'm not ignoring you. I'm trying to get to every single person that sends me a DM and I want to connect with every single one of you. So we have some awesome photos coming at you soon. I want to thank every single person that sent me a photo. Um, it means a lot and I love reviewing your photos and I can't wait to keep this series up because you guys seem to like it. With this series just starting up on YouTube, if you notice anything that you want me to change or you think I could be better at, throw it in the comments. I'm always open to suggestions and I'm reviewing your photos, so why don't you give me suggestions on my YouTube videos. Without further ado, we're going to hop into the video that I already filmed. Um, I will be wearing a different shirt and the video kind of starts off weird because it was coming from, I was finishing up from another photographer. So pretend that we just looked at another photographer. So up next is the next photographer. You'll see what I mean. The next photographer we're gonna check out is Connor. And the first photo Connor sent me was this awesome long exposure. I literally have no complaints at all. Um, well exposed, well composed. You got the perfect long exposure going. All your colors are on point. Man, I love long exposures, especially of water. And you sent me a few and they all look really, really good. Um, let's see, which one are we going to check out next? This one of the bridge. I like this one a lot. I think your colors are looking really good. My only suggestion would be try to fix the vertical lines a little bit more. How I would have shot this photo is get down a little bit lower and the bars going on the side of the railing, I would try to line those up with the outsides of my cameras pretty straight and then shoot that way and get the end of the bridge where it, where it narrows in, get the end of the bridge either right in the middle or in the middle up here. It's kind of off to the right a little bit, but not that big of a deal. This is an awesome shot. I think if you did those two things, it would be perfect. Other than that, it looks really good. Like I said, colors are looking good. It's exposed well. I like how you got the sky well exposed and the bridge well exposed. So other than my two suggestions, this is an awesome photo and a lot of your work is very sweet. So keep up the dope work, bro. You are definitely killing it, Connor. All right, the next shots are from Alexander and his Instagram is AD Media. So he has these shots of a BMW. I'm not sure what kind of BMW it is. First shot is this one. I like the location that you picked. I like this glass building. I think that's a dope location and that's definitely probably a location that I would have seen and been like, yo, let's shoot there. Really good photo. My suggestion, because of the building and the way the building is, I would back up a little bit, use a longer focal length, maybe 40 to 60 um, or 50 to 70, depending on your lens, so that you can keep the building straight and not curved. In this photo, the building looks a little bit curved. Make your focal length a little bit longer, it will make buildings look straighter. So just back up a little bit, use a longer focal length, especially if there's a building in the back. I think that will definitely help. Other than that, that photo is really good. Let's hop to the second one that he sent me. All right, let's check out the second photo from him. So this one is really cool too. I like the angle that you got and I like how you cut half of the back of the car off so that you can focus on the back and then it moves to the front. I like that a lot. My only suggestion to you would be to shoot it from the other side of the car because the sun is coming down from this side and it's hitting that side of the car which leaves this side of the car dark and unexposed from the sun. So if you move to that side, you're gonna get it properly exposed, there's gonna be no shadows, nothing distracting the eye. On this side though, you have the shadow of the car coming right in front of the photo. It's gonna make it kinda of hard to adjust the settings when you're editing because you have one side that's really dark and then the rest of the photo is very bright. My only suggestion would be the next time when you're shooting in the sun, pay attention to what side the sun is shining on and what side it's not. 
and shoot on the side that it's shining on and try to use that side more. Other than that, great photos, bro. Keep up the dope work. Thank you again for sending them. Right, these next shots are from Jose. Let's check them out. This one's really cool. I like this one a lot. I like the angle that you use. This is actually one of my favorite angles to shoot at, which is like straight on front of the car with the wide angle lens, right smack dab, looking straight at it. So that's a really good shot. One thing I actually learned recently that I want to share with you, shooting under trees is very difficult. And, it, and it, it, it's so weird under cars because the car is gonna reflect that tree perfectly. Now, if you like the effect of under the tree, then go for it because it's what you want to do. My suggestion would be not to shoot under a tree. So if you pulled it out from under the tree and shot it like under a regular sky, you wouldn't get that effect and you would just get to see the nice paint shining perfectly. This photo is really good. My only suggestion would just be to pull it out from under the tree. Other than that, no complaints. Second photo. This one's really cool. I like when people shoot two cars at once. My, I have three suggestions for you with this photo. Back up a little bit and get both cars in completely. You got the Honda in, um, is this other, oh, and then the Toyota you kind of cut off a little bit. So if you just backed up a little bit more, got both cars in the photo, that would be great. Bring your shadows up a little bit or bring the exposure up a little bit so that we can see more of the car. And they're very dark and it's kind of hard to tell what kind of cars they are. I'm not sure if you're using Lightroom or not. So when you're editing, since this sky is blue, you're going to want to go to the luminance and turn the luminance of the blue up a little bit so that these blues aren't so deep and hard. So if you turn those up a little bit, that will also help expose the cars and bring the cars out a little bit more. So three things. Get the two cars in the photo, open your shadows up a little bit, and turn the luminance of the blues just a tad. Other than that, dude, you definitely have a very creative eye, and you're definitely getting there. So keep shooting, keep working at it. Keep practicing, that's the only way you're gonna get better. Definitely keep going, bro. I love the work, keep it up. All right, the next photographer is Anito. I think I'm saying that right. All right, let's check out some of his photos. So these are from New York City. This one is super awesome. I think I was on top of the same building when I went, and that's a beautiful view. You captured it very well. I like how there's fog coming down over the city, and the edit that you put on this looks really good. You sent me one with two edits, and I like this edit a lot more. Just a personal preference on colors. I like dark colors, dark tones. I, it, it really adds to it with the fog coming over the city. It looks like it's from like a creepy fucking movie in New York. My only suggestion would be to straighten your vertical lines. So you've got like both buildings on the sides coming in like this. So if you straighten them vertically, it's basically gonna pull apart the, the top photo up a little bit and it's gonna straighten those lines so they're coming straight up. That's my only tip for you. Other than that, this photo is perfect. All right, here's the second photo of his. I like this photo a lot. Um, I like how the you have the boat dock or the pier. I can't tell which one it is, but it's in the foreground, and then you have New York City in the background. Again, nice cloudy day. Just looks really good. I don't have any complaints for your photos. Your horizons look pretty straight. Those are some great photos, so keep up the awesome work, Antonio, and thanks again for sending your photos. The next photographer we're gonna check out is Leon. I think that's how you say his name. Okay, this first photo of this cat. This is a, such a cute little cat. And at first look, I actually thought the cat was smoking. It looks like the cat's smoking. Anyway, you composed it perfectly. I like how you have the cat down in the bottom left-hand corner. And I like the colors and the tones of this photo. I don't have any complaints for this photo. I think you did a really good job. You got the cat looking up in the sky. That cat's a really good model, so make sure you pet him on the head and tell him that I said it's a really good model. Great shot. Let's check out your next one. All right, this one of the Coke bottles. Great shot, nice close up. My only suggestion would be to turn your blues saturation down a little bit and then turn the luminance up. I think the words are too blue, in my opinion. I don't know what it's reflecting off of, but I think if the words were like crystal white, it would look so much better because that's just what color they are when they come on the cans. That's my only suggestion, and you take some awesome photos. You sent me a ton of them. I'm looking at them right now. You should keep up the dope work because you definitely have a creative eye for photography, and that cat is very cute. So please make sure you pet him and tell him he's an awesome model. All right, next person. Next photographer's name is John. Let's check out some of his photos. So this one is another shot of New York City. And I like this one a lot. Now I think there's two things I'm going to say. In this case, because of this bar right here, my suggestion would be to turn your phone landscape and take a landscape photo of the whole city. Turn your shadows up a little bit more because the city is very dark. Now if you're going for the dark vibe, 
then keep it that way. But if you want it to be well exposed, turn the shadows up just a little bit so we can see more of those buildings. All right, the second photo from him. This photo is very well composed. Um, you got that bridge right in the middle and it looks like you got all your lines perfectly lined up. My only suggestion would be to turn your blues down just a little bit because the blues coming in on the left hand bottom corner are very, very saturated. That's just a personal preference. But other than that, I like how the sun, it looks like the sun's coming in from the right. It's a very moody photo. I know you said you just started taking photos, so keep up the awesome work. Um, photography is a journey and I can't wait to see you go through it. So thank you again for sending the photos. Keep up the awesome edits. Alrighty, and then lastly, we have Grant Lewis. Grant sent me some sweet photos. Let's check it out. This first one, this photo is really cool. It looks like it was at a car show. Anyway, I like the angle that he got, got down low, got a good pick of the front half going to the back. Awesome shot, awesome edit, well exposed. My only suggestion would be to try to shoot it so that there's no camera in the back, but that stuff's out of your control, so I understand that. I've been in that situation before. The second shot, this one is really, really cool. This portrait of this girl, killer. Um, it looks like it should be in a magazine, honestly, bro. She's got a nice look on her face, very, very moody. Tell her she's an awesome model, and I like how she's got the hand, hand up there, gazing out the window. That's an awesome shot. Um, I like how you got the lines perfectly lined up. You, you got some really awesome photos, bro. Thanks for sending them and keep up the awesome work. Hey, it's me again. Welcome back to me in a black shirt and a hat. Thank you for watching another photo reviews. I enjoyed that one a lot and I can't wait to do another one. There's definitely gonna be a lot of parts to this. There's definitely gonna be a lot of parts to this series. There will definitely be a lot of parts to this series and I'm very excited for that. So keep sending me your photos. I love reviewing them. I love giving you my insight and I love seeing all the work that you guys do. The people who follow me are a very talented group of people. Thank you so much for sending in your photos. That's all for this video. If you see the last video I posted on my channel, it is my giveaway video announcing my giveaway. So that giveaway is on my Instagram. Go ahead and watch that video if you want to learn more. Or you can just go to my Instagram, find the post, and you'll know how to enter my giveaway. If you didn't know, I'm giving away a print or an iPhone case. It's up to the winner to pick what they want. Hit the last video I posted or go over to my Instagram. The link will be right down in my bio. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for clicking on another video. And I will see you guys Friday at 12 o'clock to announce the giveaway winner.